Hi learners, welcome to Learn News. Today this tutorial is dedicated to Jenkins where we are going to build a pipeline with the help of Jenkins and in pipeline I will show you how to do that. And uh, first of all let me move on to what code that I am going to use today is basically a Java project where uh, JUnit test cases that I have written for my test util, test math utils class. If you follow the JUnit tutorial you would be able to understand what are the features of this test math dot utils test math utils class here I am uh, writing I have written some of the test cases and that test cases are going to pass or fail on the basis of whatever I have written and that uh, build I am going to instantiate it with the help of a Jenkins pipeline well let us quickly come on to the Jenkins let me pull my Jenkins application up In the Apache Tomcat, I am using a Jenkins war file, and here I will go to cmd command, and then startup.bat. It won't take much time. It's instantiating my Jenkins war, and it's up. Just a few more seconds. My Jenkins is fully up and active. Let me log into my Jenkins server. And enter my credentials over here. As you know that this is the front view of Jenkins. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I already created a pipeline for a demo hands-on but for you guys I'm going to create it fresh uh, well you have to select new item and you have to give a name pipeline J unit pipeline J unit say uh, let's uh, name I give select a name pipeline one pipeline J unit demo and I have to select pipeline over here no other options you have to select and then with an OK you shoot it and a brief description if you want to give a pipeline example and you have to do nothing just come down here you can do either go for a declarative pipeline or a scripted pipeline I am going to go for a scripted pipeline so I am selecting pipeline script from SCM and the SCM that I am going to select is a git repository and uh, the URL that I am going to give is let me open github and here Jenkins JUnit I have uploaded uh, the project in this particular repository I am going to copy the path and I am going to put it over here I am going to provide my credentials and then here in Jenkins file I'm going to select for Jenkins file okay then I'm applying it and then saving it well I think everything is all fine but uh, what is the content of the Jenkins file that let me just uh, show you the main content of Jenkins file is a uh, it's here I have scripted it in this uh, in, in this document where pipeline agent is any tools that I have to use is a Maven tool as well as JDK JDK and then finally there are three stages that I am pulling uh, I have put here first stage is an initialized stage where it's going to initialize and show the M2 home Maven home and JDK home and uh, there is a clean install phase and then finally there is a Maven test where that all the test cases will get run well, let us quickly come on. It's, a, it's basically a very simple groovy script that I you have to write in Jenkins file. Okay, and mind that that file name, Jenkins file name, and the file name that you have to give over here. Let me show you in the configure. Both are same. As Jenkins will be looking for uh, this file name, Jenkins file. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run this one. 
build now in the build now section let me come to the console output in the console output you would be able to see certain logs are falling and in the logs you can see that particular branch it is stay which it, it is uh, which uh, my code has taken this is the first stage this is the second stage for clean install build success and finally maven test which is the third stage and it is also success and hence my pipeline is successfully built let us come to the pipeline summary you will be able to see that declarative tool install and declarative checkout there are five stage three stages basically but two extra stages are there one is a declaration and another is the both are declarative one one is the checkout from scm and another is the tools install like jdk or maven whichever we have we require and there you can find individual logs this is the initialize this is the clean install stage and this is the test stage test stage log you can find it over here each and every metrics you can find it like use a tool from predefined like many other options are there which you can venture out right so uh, let me rerun it once again so that you can get an average timing over here as well let me rerun it once again see the console output it didn't took much time and yes it's success it's finished so if we come on to the pipeline over here you will be able to see that two builds have been done and both have taken different time in certain way and uh, their average time is updated over here so in this way we will be able to use it uh, use uh, jenkins pipeline on our next tutorial we will, be, we will be venturing out further on how to utilize uh, much more on pipelines and jenkins thank you thanks for watching learn news thanks for watching my tutorial hope you are liking it and uh, I will be stay tuned to my channel. Thanks.